Here's a problem involving a derivative which we solve with an indefinite integral. We're told that at each point x, y on a graph of function f, the graph has a slope equal to 4x minus 4. So that's the derivative. The slope is 4x minus 4, the slope of f. So that's the derivative of function f. And we're told that the graph of f goes through the point 2 comma 3, then f of x equals what? So we need to find function f of x. Okay, the graph has a slope equal to 4x minus 4, so that's the derivative of f. If the derivative of f is 4x minus 4, then function f is going to be the integral of that. So it's the integral of 4x minus 4 dx. And that's pretty easy to integrate. Just do it term by term, and you get 2x squared minus 4x plus c. There's an unknown constant of integration, but we can find it. We're given a critical piece of information right here. It goes to the point 2, 3. So that means when x is equal to 2, right there, this has to be 3. The function has to be 3. So we get a simple equation. 3 is equal to 2 times x squared, that's 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 4 times 2, which is 8, plus c. And these obviously cancel, cancel out, so c has to equal 3. So that tells me what function f is. Function f has to be 2x squared minus 4x plus 3. And that is the answer. Okay, so that's not too hard. Now the obvious catch would be forgetting the constant of integration, which is just simply easy to forget. You could take the integral of this function and get 2x squared minus 4x and forget to add the plus c. Or if you remember to add the c, you may forget how to, how to find it. But if you're given a point, any single point on the curve, that narrows down your indefinite integral from an infinite number of possible solutions to one particular solution, which we can find by putting in those values, which we sometimes call an initial condition. Put in those values for x and y allows us to find c, which allows us to write the function specifically.